Okay, so when it comes to stylized anatomy, that's a very huge conversation and a pretty big talk. Um, the art of stylizing in and of itself is probably one of the most difficult things you can do. Now, obtaining that's that's not saying that obtaining real, realism isn't hard. That's extremely complicated. But the, the idea behind stylization in general, you know, cartoonifying something, making something into a cartoon, or stylizing a shape or form, oftentimes artists or students or beginners, whoever it may be, even professionals, they think that it's easier to simplify something. You know, you start off by stylizing, you know, drawing cartoon characters or whatever it may be, you're drawing anime or, or whatever it is. Um, there, there's kind of this this offset of like style versus just drawing something wrong. <laughs> and so the biggest issue is like somebody will draw something or sculpt something stylized, right? Quote unquote stylized. Um, but the anatomical correctness of it is wrong. There's not sculpting the abdomen where it needs to be. The pectorals don't, you know, connect and function properly with the deltoids and so on and so forth. And so just because you're stylizing something or drawing something or sculpting something in our cartoony way, that doesn't give you the go ahead to um, mess up the underlying structure of whatever it is you're stylizing. So in order to really successfully stylize something, oftentimes you have to understand that subject matter that you're stylizing. So for anatomy, anatomy in and of itself is difficult to understand and it's hard to grasp. And so for artists that stylize that said anatomy, that goes to show that they truly understand that form. They're able to simplify that form in a way that's appealing, that's, that gets rid of some of the noise that isn't necessarily needed to you know, portray something to portray the pectoral, to portray the, you know, whatever it may be. And so the art of stylizing is an art. The art of stylized anatomy is is huge. There's a lot of conversation behind it. When I was at Disney, they had panels and talks and um, workshops on it. Uh, appeal is another term that Disney likes to use. Um, the appeal of something is, is, is huge. And so everybody, um, you know, might solve that appeal in a different way or like solve that stylization of a certain form in a specific way and it's essentially how you're how you're simplifying it and almost quick handing something to describe certain shapes and so the stylized face wouldn't work well if the underlying structure of it wasn't correct right so we re-register the, the eyebrow bones the mandible the just everything is still there it's just a lot of it gets polished and it's hinted at or you're like you're following the curve that finishes a certain shape um, so you know that that fatty pad's there. It's just being stylized in a certain way with these offset lines and straights versus curves. And it's just a conversation in and of itself, um, but it is an art. And again, oftentimes it's a hard art because you have to really understand something to stylize it, to understand what you can rip away and what you should keep. And so keep that in mind that when you're working on something stylized, it's not a cop-out for you to just forget everything else that's under, that's, you know, below the surface of the structure. This is a very stylized character of E. Honda, I think by Dylan Ekren, who's a Disney character artist. Um, and he did a really successful job of capturing the underlying anatomy in super clean, simple shapes while still feeling um, fulfilled. And there is depth behind this body. You can insert a skeleton, and, you know, still follow the anatomical correctness in a very simplified and clean way. Um, but it's very appealing. It's true to anatomy. Um, and true to the form so and function which is super important so keep that in mind um, when you guys are stylizing something that there is a balance there is still underlying structure and it's important for you to understand that so with that let's go ahead and move on into the sculpting part of this um, lecture so that we can kind of talk about that as we go we're going to cover these methodologies as we sculpt um, and we might hit some fully or we might not but the beauty of it is that we're going to learn from it and so every character you do, every project to work on, every study you do, the goal is that you get better and learn something every time you do it. All right, let's get to it.